all the base drivers and mid-range drivers are subjected to a very high level sine wave test signal here to check for rub and buzz, uh, any dirt or spider or suspension misalignment. Wow. So it's 20 volts minimum. So okay. the smallest drive unit using the 7 is subjected to 20 volts and that's from 5 hertz up through a couple, couple of octaves above its operating mm -hmm. uh, frequency. Um, it's a high level test um, but it stresses, pre-stresses the parts to try and expose any faults that may occur further down the line. So using the very low frequency signal you can listen for spider clicks, uh, any loose particles in the gap, usually hear them as a small ticking noise. The small SCM7 drive unit gets uh -huh. the same test condition. Okay. Let's let's have a look. The 15s actually see higher voltage than that. We also test those at 35 volts, but the initial test is at 20. Um, the SCM7 is also tested at 20. So 20 volts is uh, how many watts in uh, in, in case of... Uh, 400 over 8, uh, 50, no, hang on. 400 divided by, this is 4 ohm driver? Uh, no, 8 ohm. 8 ohm. So it's 50 watts? Yes, yeah, 50, yeah. But with no air load, it will respond, the excursion will be reduced in, wow. the, in the cabinet. The excursion is ex extreme. Uh, there we have another. But we find this is excellent for exposing shortcomings in uh, spider misalignment and also for, you know, checking for rub and buzz. So this is the it's beyond, the driver, beyond right? perhaps what it's designed for, uh -huh. but um, testing in this extreme condition means that we get lower returns in the field. Uh -huh. So this is the SCM7 driver, right? Uh -huh. And this is the clerical system, the tweeters are being run through an automated test procedure. Mm -hmm. So we've only been building our own tweeter for around the last uh, six months. And I'll show you the tweeter test room uh, shortly. Mm -hmm. Don't want to switch on this Yeah, might as well. <laughs> so it's, we've got essentially a small... Um, chamber? Yeah, chamber. Anechoic at higher frequencies. Tweeters are uh, pushed into the rear of the waveguide. Uh, we're measuring for uh, impedance, uh, feel and small frequency response, rub and buzz, and distortion.